My eyes are puffy? Finally over. All the good stuff is waiting for you. Oh my god! <laughs> well, hello there, ghoul gang. What up, everybody? It's so good to see you guys. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you're all having a good day, even though it is the beginning of the week. The beginning of the week kind of sucks. You know what? It doesn't matter. We're together now, and uh, we have a real fun video to watch today. <laughs> I'm excited. Listen, listen. We are Ghoul Gang for this month. Chantal is doing, I already forget what the hell she's calling it. Wait, wait. Live scream. That's what she's calling it. She's going to call it Vlogtober because they're not vlogs. They're live streams. So live scream it is. So we have an edit. Yeah, that's right. I edited. Um, we have an edit from yesterday's live scream where our girl went shopping at a mall to get some Lush products with her aunt. The, in, in her words, Rasta Aunt Phyllis. Uh... I don't know about Rasta Aunt. I call her the aunt who gave me the death stares from across the room at the fatty fashion show. Same aunt. That's her. Yeah, that's right. I edited. Don't die of shock, beast of beauty. <laughs> if there's one good thing that comes out of the insomnia. <laughs> A lot of hours and not too much to do. Anyway, Mandy, thank you so much for the super chat. I changed my pick to a spooky me for Halloween, but it's me. Mandy, I love it. Thank you for participating. It's very ghoulish of you. Ah. Um, oh, Ren, see, wait, I like this comment. Ren, I agree. The aunt is just as delusional as Chantal. Um, there's a family resemblance, and I don't, I don't mean in the look. I mean in the mouth, okay, by the, these two. Listen, Phyllis is driving them to, I, I think they're going to Cornwall, okay? She's driving, Chantal's in the passenger seat. It's the first time we've seen Chantal ever that I can remember in the passenger seat of the car. Um, Phyllis says some very questionable things, Chantal-esque things, some things where you hear it and you go, oh, wow, Chantal could have said that, would have said that. Um it was kind of shocking, kind of shocking. Um, I also found a couple other things that Phyllis did yesterday. Just fucking hilarious. Phyllis gives a lot of um, YouTube advice. Did anybody else notice that? Uh, everything Chantal, Phyllis was given an opinion about everything Chantal should do on her channel and everything. It was so weird. So fucking weird. Um, yeah, Phyllis, Phyllis just has an opinion. Phyllis... Phyllis kept cutting in to say things that she was like good at and things she was going to help Chantal with. And I'm sitting here going, 
Why, why would you only start helping her with those things now? If they're your strength and you recognize that they're your um, niece's wit uh, weaknesses, why wouldn't you have maybe thought to help her before? But anyway, it just we will watch the edit together. We'll see. Maybe I'm just being a picky ass beach because she was giving me, you know, the death stares from across the room. Maybe you guys will be like, no, it's not so big. We'll see. Vicky, thank you so much for the super chat. Thanks for being here, girl. Appreciate it. All right. The chins bring all the Jamaicans to the yard. Wow, bubbles. Uh, it was anyway. <laughs> You know what? I'm not, I'm not going to start shredding the ads, but I, I mean, I could, but that, that she's not the point of our channel here. Okay. So I'm going to hold way back on the end, like way back on the end, like saying like, 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 anyway, no, I'm not even going to say it. No, no, I will not be baited. I will not. Pickle Jart. Thank you so much for the super chat. Boo spooky picture for a very spooky video. You're the best Frenchie. Oh my God. That is a freaking scary ass picture. I love it. Pickle Jart. Thank you for being here. Oh, hey, girl tube. What up, girl tube? How's it going? <laughs> um, oh, God. Chantal, like our Chantal, not Chantal, Chantal, but like our Chantal. Yes, girl. I forgot all about that. Again, I watched this video at like two o'clock in the morning. Forgive me. Phyllis did tell her to light a joint in the car. And it was so weird because Chantal just like went along. She's like, oh yeah, I could. Eh? I've, I've, I've never not been driving. And I'm thinking, no, you can't. You can't just be lighting up in the car, whether you're driving or not. Ooh, you know what? Let, let's get into it because we're shredding it already and we haven't even started it. So why don't we shred to the video? Ah, okay. Hold on. Let me get the tab. Oh, nice and clear. My fans, are you my fan, Willie Rot? My fans, except for Willie Rot. <laughs> you can already smell Lush, I think. Can you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, kind of. And it's around the corner. Wow. Yes, I'm with my aunt today for her birthday. Okay, okay, okay. I'm already shredding. Listen, later on in the video, the aunt is going to tell us how, oh, I'm losing my English living in Jamaica for so long. Not only has she not lost her English, the first sentence th that we just heard out of her sounded like the most Cornwallian English I've ever heard. Yay! It was like so fucking super Canadian. What are you talking about? You're losing your English. The aunt is like, this is just my opinion, allegedly conspiracy, whatever. She's as much of a fucking tryhard as Chantal is, and it's really fucking sad. Because we laugh at Chantal for being such a tryhard, and she's like 38 years old. How old is the aunt? Fucking like 58 years old? I don't know. I don't know, but it doesn't get better the older you get, you fucking tryhard poser. I'm like, I'm sitting here cringing. And when she busted out the patwa and stuff, I was like, no. I'm like going in my t-shirt. I was dying here editing this shit cackling like a witch at two o'clock in the morning it was a good time <laughs> oh i'm sorry okay that's slanderous on my part ashley i take it back the aunt is 36 uh sorry not 36 46 years old S same thing you know what i mean i'm just saying like if, <laughs> it's just worse it's, yeah because because i mock chantal all the time for being such a try hard at her age it's like as as you get old it's just more and more pathetic to me that, that's all I'm saying. I will not shut up about BBJ. Thank you so much for the super chat. F you Pete's. Okay, back to work I go. Have a good shift. Hearts in the chat for my aunt. <laughs> yes, I'm with my Rasta aunt. <laughs> the put Jamaica color. Yes, <laughs> Thank you. So for today, live screen, everybody. Lush has a Halloween Wait, 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 girl tube. Is this tea or is this speculation? Is this speculation or is this tea? Is the aunt, the aunt is not 46. She was kidding. There's no way she was 46. Like, I didn't want to sound like a hater ass bitch, but I thought, okay, okay. She's not there. Okay. Listen, listen, irrelevant. However old the aunt is, is irrelevant. The point is they're all too old to be acting this like, 
try hard. That's all. Wait, 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 girl tube. FFG, she was kidding about being 46. It's in the video. Okay. It's like you, girl tube. Hall. And I'm going to check out what Lush has this season. And perhaps we will purchase something for when we move and we have a soaker tub. <laughs> so you can smell it now. Oh, yeah. But it's natural oils, eh? They use not big perfumey stuff. No, no, no. Very hot. Can they smell through the phone? No. <laughs> I wish they can. <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. 46 go. in dog years. No. Mischief. Wow. Look at all the, stuff. the Halloween stuff. Cute, eh? Lord of Miss Rule smells really good. Oh my God, they have a. Okay, unpopular opinion, and you can come and fight me if you want to. I don't think there's Lush in the States. I think it's just a Canadian thing. It's supposed to be so nice and so good. Last year when it was Christmas time, one of our days of giveaway was a Lush thing that I ordered online because I have never been in a Lush in my entire life. I I find the smell so off-putting as you pass by one. I don't want to go in there. Oh my God. It's like getting like, okay, picture a pillow fight, right? So somebody slams you in the face with the pillow, but instead of a pillow, it's like slams you in the face with different odors of like perfumes and shit. Oh, you guys do have Lush. Okay, my bad. It's just, it's so, it's like an assault on the senses. You know, I, I refuse to go into that place. I will order online. I will not go there. Some of those bars of soap, I was looking at them just yesterday. <laughs> when I saw she went to Lush, I'm like, what is Lush selling these days? Some of their bars of soap are so freaking nice. It makes me want one, but then I also think it might suck. I don't know. Has anyone even tried Lush stuff? I have not tried Lush. Oh. Lilac Shade Vine says, I love Lush so much. My ex got me the vanilla perfume. All right. I'm a Bath and Body Works beach <laughs> nemesis. <laughs> Never tried. Yep. Hmm. Lush is for younger people? Really? Is that why it's so over smell over over smelled? Wow. <laughs> over like perfumed. It's like the Axe body spray of the like <laughs> personal stuff. I don't know. Ugh. I like the soap. The soaps look so fancy. Yeah, Lush is really expensive. I don't know. They have like, there's like a bar of soap that's a, uh, um, what do you call it? A shampoo? I'm riveted. I'm riveted and also don't really want to try it because what if it sucks and fucks up my hair? You know what I mean? I don't know. It's one of those cases. See, Hoy, thank you for the super chat. My theory, the ant is the real mother. Ooh. Ooh, that's an interesting one. Hang on, I'm picturing the mother and I'm picturing the aunt. I think she might look a little more like her, the mother, like uh, Smee. <laughs> I don't know. I think she might. But that's that's interesting. That's a hard, a hard call. Try the shampoo bars. I should try the shampoo bar. Am I gonna love it? Curly hair? Hmm? Hmm? Is curly hair? Gonna love that fucking shampoo bar? Don't make me go and waste about $20 on a fucking bar of soap now. Hmm. But I will if it is. <sighs> okay, let's move on. Do not try the shampoo bars all in capitals. Oh, you see? <sighs> now I don't know what to do. Girl Tube says the shampoo bar sucks. Wouldn't recommend. Don't buy it. It's gross. Okay, fuck it. I'll stick with my Pantene. Let's press play. Lord of Misrule candle. Yep. I'd like to get one of those. And listen, listen. Oh, no, no. I said Fantine. Vegans or whatever, or, or like like organics. I'm very sorry that my, if Pantene bothers you, that there's something in it that's probably bad for the world or something. I'm sorry. Okay. In advance. Hi, so I think oh, they're hiring. I want to work here. I'm not even fucking kidding. I'll work here for free. I'll work here for free. Yes. So if you have, yeah. If you have kitties, this is good for the bath. It makes like bubbles. It's really cool. 
really cool. Then this is self scare. Sienna White. It's just not cruelty free. Are we talking about Lush or are we talking about Pantene now? Oh, Pantene is full of wax. Get the hell out of here. I don't care if it's full of wax. It's the best shit I've ever used in my life and I've been using it forever. I sometimes have bottles away, but I always come back to Pantene. Always. Hmm. My hair is so thin. The wax in Pantene makes it thicker. I have so many flyaways and shit that the, the wax, I suppose, in Pantene, I always say, Pantene, it's like it weighs my hair down. You get so much less fluff. That's why I've always loved it. <laughs> uh, Alicia, thank you for, so much for the super chat. Excited to make it to a live. Thanks to be here. Yeah, it is refreshing to see someone besides Pete's and uh, refreshing to see something outside of the freaking villa for once or the inside of her car for once pantene suffocates your curls how dare you no no it does not my curls are thriving hydrated and happy thank you isn't that cute roller ghoster what is in here here we go oh my god my Pantene is glue. Well, let me be with my glue in peace. God damn it. That's cute. I got one of these. That's so cute. What else? Lord of Misrule. So Lord of Misrule is like patchouli and black pepper. You get a 50%. Hi, Atlas. Hi, St. Jordy. If you work here, you get 50% off, really. <laughs> patchouli seems like a weird kind of like smell for Chantal to pick. She is so fair. You know that um, automatically, I don't think patchouli, even like vanilla would be like overwhelming on her. So vanilla, patchouli. Oh my God. That is going to be like like a lush bomb coming down the street. Oh my God, she wants to smell like one of those bath bombs. Okay, I take it back. <gasps> Imagine that heavy, heavy patchouli and that heavy, heavy vanilla on somebody who is so fair. Oh, I can like imagine what it would smell like. And no, 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 no. That's not going to be good. That's too much. Oh my God, they have Snow Fairy body lotion. <gasps> yes. I need some. Hey, Hannah, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Isn't that cute? Oh, my God. Moon bath. Oh, my God, that's nice. Looks so appealing. Even as she pans the camera around, I'm enjoying this. I'm like, ooh, ooh, everything looks so good, you know? But I just have a feeling... It's going to be one of those places where everything looks good, but nothing's as good as it looks. Lush people, is it is it underwhelming or overwhelming? Do, is you like, do you try the things from Lush and you're like, oh, this is better than I thought it was going to be? Or do you try everything from Lush and you're like, meh, be honest, just because it's expensive. Don't bullshit me. <laughs> Girl tube, everything is just expensive. I want to try Olaplex. We're talking about Lush. <laughs> what are you? underwhelming that's the vibe that it gives off it's usually pretty meh yeah it looks cute just whelming mm. it's a very fragrant store i'm glad we don't have smell of vision some stuff is good mm. it looks cool but the product is ish. Mm. okay okay good to know good to know thank you for the info not worth what it costs yeah when I was I was looking yesterday at some of those bars of soap, some of the bars of soap were like 10 bucks for like this little shinsy bar of soap that looks like you're going to wash your hands like five times and it's going to be gone. Just poof. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, Julie, thank you so much for the super chat. 
Okay, I need a minute here at this. Hi, Northern Lolo. You love Lush? Your skin hates Lush. My skin only loves Lush. So this is the one I have. The smell of the weather turning is so interesting. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so weird. Hold on a minute. I'm going to try some of these on. Just give me a minute. Oh. Ooh. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm just going to say this. Listen, a lot y'all give me shit for eating eggs. Y'all give me shit for my fucking pantene. But you know what? I have really long hair that is strong and grows really fast. And I have really long nails that are strong and they grow real fast. So you know what? You hippy dippies and all you vegans, maybe you should be eating a few more eggs and using pantene. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, maybe there's something to the old school method of things. I'm just saying, no judgment. Turmeric latte. Oh, wow. That's interesting. That's right, crack door. Smother. I am a hater ass boomer. Mm. Weird, eh? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Um, not really. Well, what is this Lord of Mist rule? I see it everywhere. It's um, so it's for the fall. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of it up here. Oh, Smell this here. Soaps. This is um, patchouli and black pepper and vanilla. Vanilla, patchouli, and black pepper. It's so good. No, no. <laughs> oh, I love it. I'm not a person. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What? Where, 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 where? Sidebar. Madonna Knowles, thank you for the super chat and the tea. You may already know I did not, but Foodie Beauty said in her live that she wants to play Am I the Asshole? First of all, that's not a fun game for her to play because although people have been pointing out for years now, constantly when she's the asshole, she'll never accept the fact that she's the asshole. So wasted. Okay. And number two, Chantal, I see you. Have you been watching Twitch? Cause that's a game we just paid over Twitch. Like what? Two streams ago or something. <gasps> how dare you, ma'am? How dare you? <laughs> Can't you get your own content? <laughs> is that Chantal? Wait, admitting that the content we do over on Twitch is more interesting than she is and is more interesting than anything she could come up with. <gasps> Just saying. Therapy. Here you go. You wanted me to get therapy. What about that? <laughs> 14 bucks. <laughs> oh, hold on. I need a basket. Hold on. There's pumpkin. So we have the pumpkin for $6.95, which is part of the fall. We have these monster feet, bath bombs. These are all bath bombs. Bigfoot. Okay, okay, listen. KD, thank you for the super chat. I, I don't fuck with the bath bombs. I do not. I know a lot of you guys, or some of you guys anyway, like the bath bombs. Here's my problem. I've never used a bath bomb. And I'm not even curious to use a bath bomb because I have a theory. When you drain the water out of the tub and you walk away to go dry yourself off and then you come back to your tub, is it full of fucking bath bomb? Is there bath bomb colored shit all over your fucking tub? Because that's exactly what I picture. There's nothing relaxing about that. And having to scrub bath bomb shit off the sides of my tub after taking my relaxing bath is the last thing that I want to do. So, the, no, glitter. <gasps> you just said the word I hate the most, Julie. Oh my God, I need to sip of my drink. You have a fucking tub full of shit and glitter at the end of that? <laughs> Lush would have to pay me about $7 hmm? to use one of those things. What the fuck is the point? Get a shower bomb. No, I don't want any bombs. Leave me be. <laughs> no, 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 no. What a wreck. What a mess. Ah, what am I drinking? Diet Dr. Pepper. Mm. <laughs> it looks like
Oh yeah, I had to mute the sound right here because she's like right under the freaking what do you call speaker? And the music got claimed and I couldn't play the freaking video. Ugh. I don't know how she was able to play it. Whatever. Crack Noir, thank you so much for a super chat. Generic value brand Paul Mitchell tea tree. Fuck Pantene. How dare you? How dare you? <sighs> Ever say fuck Pantene to me. Pantene is the best. I also like a Dr. Pepper here and there. It's just so sweet. I could never drink it. Like it could never become my Coke Zero. You know what I mean? It's way too sweet to be drinking like a few of those a day. Oh, no. No, no, no. Coke Zero is just perfect. <laughs> you dared, beach. <laughs> Julie, thank you again for Super Chat. Girl, mane and tail is the way to go if you want fuss-free hair care. I have fine hair that dries out quickly. Their regular shampoo and conditioner is bomb. Well, enjoy it. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I'm sticking to my freaking Pantene. You don't, if it's not broke, don't fix it or whatever. You know what I mean? Nah, nah, nah. You can talk a lot of shit about me. But the hair though, mm, mm, thanks Pantene. Ah! <laughs> I, every once in a while though, I get like a, a bottle of a different kind because your hair gets kind of like used to the Pantene or whatever, you know? Um, so I, I bought Function of Beauty. Is that what it's called? It's like the super fancy. It was like $15 for a tiny little bottle of fucking shampoo and $15 for a tiny little bottle of conditioner. I have about two days left of Pantene and then I'm going to use it. And I'll let you know if there's a fucking difference because I'm convinced this is a test because I'm convinced it won't even be as good as the fucking Pantene. You mark my words. That's my bet from now. Huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have cousin in here. Mom. Okay, she's back. The sound is back. We can listen to her now instead of my rant. Gift horse. <laughs> Looks like one of my boyfriends. All right, I'm just going to put you down so I can pick something up. Hi, Snuffkin. Oh. Oh, I feel this above. Oh, babe. <laughs> I forgot you had my wallet. Whoa, 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 wait, whoa, whoa. Amanda, did you buy an add on for the function of beauty? No, I just bought them at the fucking uh, pharmacy at the Pharma Pre. <laughs> there was like bottles there with all the other shampoo and conditioner. I think it was called function of beauty. I know, but that's okay. Did you go to the body shop? Oh, it's cool how they set it up, eh? Look at the spaceship. Wait. Oh, Moonlight, remember for eight months, lush shopping for Halloween. Ready, set, babies. Thank you, Bay. Thank you, thank you, Moonlight. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So we're at the store now. Okay. We're done with the, the Lush. We've bought our things with Lush. And yes, she does call her aunt at Bay. Oh, Bay. <sighs> Bay and Smee. Yeah. Where did they come up with these? I don't know. I don't know. Bubbles. Thank you so much for the super chat. Blonde, your hair. What? <sighs> it sounds complicated and fancy. I don't know. I don't know. There we go. Sorry, did you need a bag today? Yes, please. Oh, you guys want slower mode? Okay, I'll make it slower. <laughs> oh, oh. Hello. Well, I mean, it's a gift. It's a gift for me. Well, you gotta treat yourself. <laughs> I, honestly, I do the same thing all the time. I bet it's you. It's so fun. Yes. Yeah, it's true. And I mean, you can't go wrong with just a little something for yourself. Oh, you guys have the subscription box in North America now? We do. We do. Oh. A lot of people come coming to North America now, and I'm so excited. We just got confirmed for the um, collaboration launch. I remember yeah. when the kitchen was only UK, and I was going poor, just <laughs> just trying to get. <laughs> yeah, that would happen. But I mean, uh, I hate when she does that like fake thing with any cashier she ever like encounters, and they they're like so like fake. Like, yeah, in the 
collaboration. Shut up. Just fucking ring up my shit and let me get the hell out of here. It smells like death in here. And I'm like a second away from passing out for the love of God. I mean, we have it now, so thank God. Yes. And I mean, it's wonderful. I love it. And the candles oh, yeah. are new. That is so cool. Yeah, so we're getting year-round off those two because they were just going to come out for the holidays. Are they soy-based? Sorry? Are they soy-based candles? Or I don't know if they're like, oh, okay. oh, I'll check it out, yeah. Just asking because knowing luck, it's probably like natural and good for Oh, yeah. It's called a vegan candle, so I know oh, okay. it's all natural for sure. <laughs> Mafia man, thank no, you so no, much no. for Super Chat. Perfect. All right, so our total all together today comes to 133.85. On Debbie? Absolutely. Oh, samples? Yes, a little sample for you. Yay, thank you. So our snow fairy self to go through. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and did you want to receive? Listen, listen, Lady Daisy, don't get me wrong. She goes, FFG, you sound like quite the people person. Actually, I really am, okay? I will make the small talk. But it's got to be short, small talk. I will make the short talk. You know what I mean? You're ringing me up. I will do a pleasantry with you. I will crack a little joke. Don't fucking hold me here talking about goddamn candles and shit. Do you see me holding a candle? Did I ask a question about a goddamn candle? Why is it taking so long? Please just ring me up. <sighs> Sometimes in life it's quantity, not quality. I mean, quality, not quantity, right? That's all I'm saying let's go you know i have no patience in a place that smells like that i would just want to get the hell out as soon as i stepped in see it all today no that's okay uh, in that case you're all set thank you so you. much hey. have a wonderful day enjoy your little joke <laughs> thank you i will <laughs> bye you too <laughs> sorry <laughs> Oh, all right, babe. His, wait, the knifey oh, one. Thank yeah. you for the super chat. Um, that really is looking at the glass half full, isn't it? <laughs> oh, no, yes. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Well, I can pay the rest. No, no, it's your right. birthday. <laughs> Look at my teeth. Oh, wait. They have a lot of head coverings. Yeah. Oh, look in there. Yeah, right along the wall. Right. Look. Oh. I'll meet you at Roots quick. Look at this, guys. I want this. I want this. I want her to buy that thing so bad. So bad. That, like, diamondy thing, and I want her to wear it on her bald head. No wig, bald head, bald head with all those things coming down. She needs to buy that thing for Halloween. Somebody needs to convince her because she doesn't buy it now, but she's now seen it. She knows where they sell it. Somebody, somebody who's maybe still a member on her channel. Maybe she hasn't blocked you the other day. Like she blocked everybody else. Get us that thing. I need a rage to happen with that thing on her head, fake eyelashes on and no fucking wig. If anybody makes this thing happen, I will give you what you want in this world, okay? That trifecta in a rage, you have like a wish from me like a genie, fuck. Delaware Pearl, thank you so much for the super chat. What? Might be expensive, but a bar of soap lasts her at least a year FFG. Ah, that touche. <laughs> so for her, it really isn't all that expensive. That's a good point. Oh, nice. Yes. Oh, my God. This is what I need. Head coverings. That is so pretty. I want that. She's getting a hijab now. We're getting hijabs. We're sizing up fucking hijabs now. When she said head covering, ooh, they have head coverings. And she panned over to that fucking diamondy thing. That was a vibe. That was a look. I was down. What the shit? Why? 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 Who, who is this for? 
Do you think Koki's going to come back to you if you're fucking hijabby? Because I got news for you, dumbass. He's not, okay? Not in a million fucking years. I'm not with the biggest fucking hijab on, okay? There's not enough hijab on this planet Earth to make Koki fall in love for you. For love for you. What the? I'm, I'm losing my words. This is so insane. What is she doing? She She's trolling us with this, right? She's trolling us. Oh, I'm sorry. Hijab. Is that better? Hijab. Hijab. Mm -hmm. Get away from the hijab. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, no. Grandma Spud, why, why are you blocking people? Uh-oh. Did you do it by mistake? It happens. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how they blocked your time now. If you just got blocked on mistake, I will unblock you. No worries. Oh, no so stressful oh my god <laughs> people are getting blocked in the chat there's a, a fucking table full of hijabs what is going on <laughs> serenity now <laughs> these are so nice what do you think leather daddy should I try one hijab? Maybe, you think? Let me see, hold on a minute. Let's go buy Rasta and a sweater. <laughs> buy a hijab? I don't know how to wear them. I need Aisha to help me. Oh yeah, don't worry about it, Grandma Spud. That's why I figured I was just making a part of the joke. Cause like, I'm looking over there, I'm looking at her. What is, what is this? <sighs> and did she only leave with no hijab because she had to go back out and meet her aunt? And the aunt would have been like, ooh, Chantal, what'd you get there, right? Eh? And she would have been like a hijab. And then her aunt might have said something to her because her aunt sounds like as Cornwall as the rest of them do. Will she be back? Aisha is just a rando in her chat. Just. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? Oh, I want to sit. All right. So, at Lush, I did end up getting the Lord of Misrule perfume. I got, they gave me a little sample of the Snow Fairy. Soap. I got a candle. Lord of Misrule. Uh, I don't know what it is. Like I don't. I don't want to smell that candle. I can. It's not. I can't even imagine what it smells like. I have no fucking clue what it would smell like. But I just have a feeling it won't smell good. It's gonna smell like everything else at Lush, and the color is kind of like meh. Ah. Too expensive for what it is. All of that crap is too expensive for what it is. Extra toe pondu. Thank you for the super chat. How'd you get your nails so strong? Mine are awful. Ah, uh, well, they're just, uh, they, they are strong. I, I drank a lot of milk and shit when I was a kid. I don't know if that affects anything. I still eat a lot of cheese. Maybe I don't even know if that affects anything. But here's the key, because it's not the key isn't just about them being strong. You have to have strength and flexibility. You know, you smash your hand onto something. A lot of times your nails just all break off. Mine can flex and they don't break. You're like, <gasps> and they didn't even crack, you know, jojoba oil. I get this thing of jojoba oil and I keep it on the, the edge of my sink. And every time I wash my hands, I put a little jojoba oil on the ends of my hands. It works wonders. That shit is like gold. Mm, that's the trick. Cool. This has some bath bombs. Halloween edition. Because I didn't want to do something like, I have a special, I might do something special for you guys tonight. I have something special planned, but I'm not sure if I'll get to. I'm not going to Montreal. So I'm going to go home. And then for the night bees, I have something I might have, I might be able to do tonight. If not, then how? Huh. Ew, look.
So, anyways, I want to show all the men watching this. So, if you're watching, any men who are watching today, it's so amazing when she spun the camera around and she's like, "Oh, the men who are watching," and I expected a mall full of people, right? This was Sunday in okay. There's no one. Ottawa, there's no people in Ottawa. It's the freakiest fucking city. I noticed when I when I went to see Shannon there in the hospital. It, there's it's a city with no people. It's the weirdest fucking thing. Almost any street you ride down, you're the only person on the street. Almost anywhere you turn, you're the only fucking person. It's the weirdest feeling coming from like a city where like if it's 4 a.m. in Montreal, you're never the only person anywhere. It's still fucking people everywhere. You would never find a mall on a Sunday like that. Not even when they, like, the stores weren't even open in the morning. It's insane to me. Oh, my God. I would be freaked out the whole time, like, looking over my shoulder, expecting someone to jump out at me. I don't know what I would expect, but that is freaky. Um, I don't think you can see it. Let me just get a little closer. Um, you know... And, and I give permission to reaction channels to clip this for my future husband. Uh, if you're watching. Um... That's the second time in a couple of days that she said that. Stop it. Stop, stop saying that, that. Stop it. Telling us what we can clip. No, we clip what we want. We do what we want. <laughs> you're not a real dad. <laughs> what the fuck? Don't, stop saying reaction channels can clip this shit. Pix, thank you so much for the super chat girl. And of all the rings she could have picked, she picks like the ugliest one of all. Uh, and I'm like, of course she does. Of course she does. This one here. This teardrop ring. Now, that's probably a size 5. But if you can find it in a size 12, you know, um, Listen, listen, listen. I know, you know, you know, I know. Stop praising <laughs> Fuck you guys. I know. I get the same notification you all get. Okay, everybody's shit just went ding, ding. Okay, everyone's, mine included. Listen, I edited. If you think I fucking edited for nothing, we are watching this edit. We are letting her marinate. And then we will go in and speed her up the way we like to do. I'm not watching this in real time. No, no marinate oh i'm here and if you can make the effort then this might be yours you know so yeah desperate single comedian challenge shut up so yeah she's real is she she can't really be size 12 she probably has no idea what size she is and she just threw out a random number that can't be i don't think that can be nah. i'm gonna be like with my aunt all day so i don't know i didn't know what what kind of content i would have time for today so today's kind of half ass but see if they have, go back to lush and see if they have a scent called desperation oh my god that was pretty good <sighs> the, the Jafar ring was like 200 after tax and delivery it was like 300 bucks and he gave it to Didi <laughs> oh, wah, wah. <laughs> you bought yourself your own ring $300 and then he gave it to Didi how sad oh. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious you think she could be size 12 hmm my ankle is size 12 well, skinny ankle queen, stop rubbing it in Chantal's face. <laughs> I will not shut up about BBJ. Thank you for the super chat. I make bath bombs and nothing stays on the tub. Well, why don't you go and teach Lush how to fucking do it? Because who the hell wants to clean a tub after a nice relaxing bath? That's, that is not the point. Mm -mm. If anything, ooh, Lush, listen the fuck up. I just gave you your million dollar idea right here. You make a bath bomb that cleans the tub. So, ooh, you're enjoying it. It's like bath bomby. It's whatever they do for you. Uh, and then as you drain the tub, it cleans the fucking tub. Bam. Now, Lush, forget about it. Now you're rich. I just gave you your best idea. You have nothing in that Lush that is as smart as that. No, no. Look at my teeth. Anyway, this guy randomly messaged me today. He's like, hey, I'm 35. I'll tell you later. 
You got everything you need? Yep. All right, guys, I'm going to go post my lunch. We had Red Lobster and, uh, okay, let's go. Do you still want to go to that market? Yeah, I check it out. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. this way. Oh, uh, no, this way. You're better direct. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> um, you have to go down this way and then, like, around, like, you'll see. No, okay. It, it couldn't have bleach in it, unfortunately, because you would be bath bombing in the bleach. That's not going to work. But something like, like, uh, Febreze, like, and not Febreze, don't come for me, hippies. Okay, listen. But something, you know, that smells like, ooh, it could be like a perfume or it could also be a cleaner. You can't really tell. So it would be good. Lemon. Julian, that's perfect. Lemon. It's good on the body and it's good for a cleaner. You need something that can work for both, you know? That's a fucking great idea right there. Somebody come up with this. I don't know how to come up with anything, okay? I, I'm the idea man. Someone else needs to be the engineering department, okay? This is how this works. I engineer fuck all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just find I'm kind of cute. 25 years too young. 25 years too young. Never. Yeah. Oh my god. We should get a bee for beezing. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes. oh sorry, babe. Yes. Alicia, thank you so much for the super chat. I love all that. I, mean, I, I have nothing of Fenty or any experience with it. Um, but uh, sorry, cool water. That's that's my, my summer smell, girl. I love that shit. And Dr. Pepper is bomb, so. Oh, phone booth. Everybody? Like no, seriously, look, Bell. They, they smell like ears. Hey? Yeah. Okay. That's such a random and yet accurate comment she just made there. Picture a, a phone booth. Pick up the phone in your in the imaginary phone booth in your mind, okay? It does smell like ears. That was when she, when I was editing and she said that, I was like, oh my God. And that just came right to her. Well, she's accurate. What do ears smell like? Like, oh, I don't even know how to describe it, but like, like picture it, like, ugh, like gross and like musty. I have no way to describe what an ear smells like besides that. Just yuck. Like, a, like a gross ear. Oh, no. Wait, you let, okay, you have, um, what do they call Like those little earbud things, okay? And you lend them to someone and then they hand them back to you and there's like fucking like wax on them. <gasps> that's, that's what I imagine a payphone smells like and ears smells like, what? Disgusting. Bugs, they smell like people's ears. <laughs> Oh, sorry about that, guys. It's just boogers. You want to go to the gym? <laughs> oh, movie, yeah. A movie theater right beside a gym. All the hot guys are going to the gym. So I think the gym is where it's at. Oh, my ears are out. beauty. I do remember when I I'm lost my voice from art. screaming, and that was not the first time in my life I've lost my voice from screaming. Remember last year when I got the false strike? immediately lose his voice why do you think i fucking raged for maybe 14 straight hours when i got that false strike last year like i wasn't online just in my my own home i fucking raged for like 14 straight hours poof voice gone this was not the first time and i'm sure it won't be the last time either yeah Nice. <gasps> Indigenous men. And the art is nice too. I love it. Wow. Always so gross. So gross. Oh, wow. She pretends to be interested in like indigenous culture, art, whatever. Indigenous men. And she says it like a robot. The fuck is wrong with you, Chantal? Oh. Sorry. I'm boy crazy. <sighs> Boy crazy, she says unironically, ma'am, you're 38 years old. You're about to be 39 years old. Boy crazy. Oh, 
Did you guys like the Sam Rock Mobbies? <laughs> you know what? I did. I did like this Mobbies. Uh, it wasn't really anything. I don't even like fucking Lush, but you know what? It wasn't the house. It wasn't the car. <sighs> It's a new venue. It's something new to look at. I don't even care where she takes us as long as it's outside. This was good. So yes, I did like the mall bees. Take us to another mall and bees over there. I, I don't know if I can do something. Fuck. So I smell like my new perfume, which is, guess who? Patchouli? Vanilla? And black? No. Okay, it's not good. I didn't love this, but it's nice. No, but here, smell it now. Oh, that's much better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what piece is it? Piece? I don't know. Hey, did you take it to Cornwall in the grocery? Yep. Yeah. Why did you want to go that day? Was it? Well, it's not my business. Never mind. Hi, guys. But uh, mostly. Oh, no, it's not my business. No, no, no. Oh. Okay, you hear her. You hear the aunt now clearly. Like, did you take him to Cornwall on my birthday? It's like, does she sound more like Cornwallian? Or like somebody who's lived in Jamaica so long that they're losing their English? <laughs> you sound like you never left Cornwall a day in your life. Oh, yeah, no, mostly, um, it's my fault. I didn't plan it right. Because he's been wanting to see his mom, and then he just played it, and I didn't think, oh, because you already said you had plans with the others. Dance right. for days. Thank you so much for the super chat. It's true. I've seen the story about that. Makes the hair fall out. Don't use that shit, guys. Yeah. Thank you. You only get super chat one morning a year. No, that's not true. You get up early more often than not these days. You're pretty good. You're up by like nine. You send me messages. You fine? Yeah. You used to be way worse. You oh sleep till like four or five. No, no. You're you're seeing more of the days. I find. You find out it's yeah. night and day when I'm on my medication, right? Yeah, absolutely. Never go off that. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you when you're not on it. Like, very I don't want to talk to you when you're not on it. Yeah. Nobody does. Not, well, we can't blame us. There's obviously a need for it. And you're happier. You yes. are happier. I can't stand myself yeah. when I'm not. No. And that's when you sleep all day most times. Too. You, you want to integrate into society. <laughs> into society. Not really, but I'm yeah, good. no, not no, not really. I was, I was, I was just exaggerating. I was joking. How do you call it? Exaggerating. Exaggerating. I'm being sarcastic. Yeah. So we are on our way to. There's a little market here, open till three. So another hour. Mmm. I love the smell of that. The little hints of vanilla patchouli. That's Very what I like nice. about Lush perfume. Oh God. Okay, the vibe today is the sunglasses are on. We've just blown $130 for nothing at Lush. We have our fake nails with leaf motif going. We are basic beach fall ready. And we are now describing the scent of our fall Lush haul while twinkling our fingers so you notice our nails in the car with our Aunt Phyllis. Ooh, and we are going to the market. Ooh! <laughs> She's doing like spirit fingers. Like, did you see my nails? Did you notice my nails? Just say nails. Fucking put those things down. We're on like day three, four already with these fucking claws. No one likes them. No one. You don't even like them. I bet she's convincing herself she likes them. She doesn't like them either. Bex, Bex, Bizaille en Pondu. Thank you so much for the super chat, girl. When she puts that thing on her head and rages, I call it her pirate rage. It's <laughs> a pretty good one. Please, please, let's not forget, okay, everyone, we have to remember as a group, that fucking thing, that head thing that she saw at the mall with all the diamonds coming down. We need her to buy that and then rage wearing it with eyelashes on and like a lot of soot. Oh my God. Someone tell her, oh, you'll get so many super chats. It'll be such a vibe. You Throughout the day, you just get little whiffs. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah, it stays with you. Yeah. Do you collect points there as a member? No, they don't have points. They should. They have no promotions because they spend a lot of their budget. They have videos on their thing on outsourcing. Oh, okay. Um, so they actually outsource and do fair trade. Everything is organic, fair traded, yeah, true. ethically sourced. So they have one sale a year. Usually it's a uh, day after Christmas. They have a BOGO on all their holiday stuff. Hmm. Day after Christmas. Yeah, yeah. I remember going with you one year. Which is definitely a good deal. All yeah. right, we're going to park over here. Yeah, yeah, because I don't have a choice. See, there's a little market here, guys. I have to park on the left. Yeah. You're a good driver, cutie. No, thanks, babe. 
Bye. Hi guys. Yeah. Oh wait, I missed the rebies. Hold on. Oh, I never Hi, saw them. Please. Welcome back to Rainbow Beach at Rebies. Oh yeah, remember I ate all this package in one night of these <laughs> cinnamon toast peanuts. My aunt gave me, got me two more. Thank you for the <laughs> notification okay. and the super chat, Lord Baroque. I had Cheddar Bay biscuits and lots of sticks. I'm so thirsty. Oh, shit. Welcome, guys. I'm glad to have you here today, hanging out with me on this nice fall day. October is my favorite month of the year. And I'm super excited because it's October. I know why she likes October. Did anybody else like feel the shift yesterday? Yesterday in the night, it got so cold for the first time. Like, summer's over for the first time. You felt like it was three degrees outside when I woke up. Oh, my God. And she's like, oh, I love October. Yeah, of course. It's not like sweltering hot anymore. Everyone else has got a miserable. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I find it depressing. Ashley, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. You love it? <sighs> I would probably appreciate it more if you, like, to me, I'm just thinking ahead already of winter. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> fuck Halloween. I don't give a fuck. Fuck out. Halloween has been anticlimactic to me my entire life. All the other kids, they fucking loved Halloween so much. I didn't because my birthday is November 1st. So it, to me, it was always like, fuck Halloween. Just get it over with. I want my birthday. <laughs> you know? I would never really appreciated Halloween too much. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Fuck Halloween. <laughs> Let's go. Yay. This is every Sunday till the end of October. Perfect. 11 to Sorry. Only. So this is local vendors. So if you want to support local, then you have... <laughs> We're just going to show you a bit of everything here. We have corn, local corn. Oh, look at the pumpkin. Oh, I should get one. <laughs> oh my God, there's like a couch. This one goes really well. Oh, I was in the same fact. Hi, Shepard and Sherry. It's got to be uh, okay, we're taking a little sidebar right here. Those bees are actually really, really cute. I'm not even going to lie. I don't like tchotchkes like that for no reason. But, uh, I mean, it's cute. Whatever. Um, some idiot. I like your comment. And you reminded me of something. So, Chantal, you should support that shop that let you into their fashion show. I also wondered why, when she came back to Montreal, she didn't go and buy those clothes that she said she was going to buy. Whatever, whatever. Here's what I was thinking of doing. So maybe we'll do a few days of giveaways in December like we did last year, okay, on the channel. I'm, I'm just saying. And I thought for one of the days of the giveaways, and it's not to be an asshole. It's literally to support because I'm trying to do gifts this year that are all like from here, like support local and whatever, you know. Um, I thought to go to that place and find not sizes because who knows what size the person who would win would be, you know, but things like maybe like a hat or scarf or like something that could, you know, like anybody could kind of wear one size fits all type thing to, to support the, <laughs> what is it called? Rock and roamed, you know? I'll buy you one. Oh, no, I'll buy my own. You made all these? Yeah, they're so beautiful. And the knit pumpkin is cute too. <laughs> Look at the couch. <laughs> we can buy a couch for our bees. For your cats. For your cats. Yeah. Oh my god. On the couch. Oh my god. That's BBJ. Oh, oh yeah, they love it. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. That's. A... <laughs> oh my god. Isn't that the cutest thing I ever? I know. Well, maybe I'll come back. Look at the work that goes into it. Do you have a? Uh... Do you have a card? Oh, yeah, she has a card, no? I'll see if I have a card. Do you want... Um, a well, I might. Maybe I can better get it another time. Yeah. Cut out. Okay. Oh, maybe she could, yeah. Okay, so it should Isn't be this cute? Here. You need a special honorary bee there. What there you, you go. Yeah. You're welcome. I'm going to get a big bee. Okay. 
Thank you. <laughs> yeah, they're fun. Is this your kitty? <laughs> yes. What's your cat's name? Toby. Toby. That's his cat coach, but he also does oh. quality testing and then sits <laughs> Okay, okay. See, I said I don't like tchotchkes for nothing, so I wouldn't get one of those um, bees, right? But the little couch, look at the little couch if you have a pet. Oh, that is so fucking cute. It reminds me kind of of Ollie's bed that was like sort of like a, a couch shape, you know? Oh, that is so freaking cute. Yeah, Mandy, you're right. That woman is so talented. Like, that is really well done. I like that thing. And it comes with a little blanket on the back too. The little throw. That is so cute. Yeah, I want that thing. I want it. <laughs> 50 bucks for the bee she bought. I know. I know. Bunny, I usually get mad when she throws money at nothing. But in a case like this where it's one of these little like, what do they call these? Like a market or a fair or whatever it is where like it's like artisan. Like the people have made the stuff themselves. I don't give a fuck. Spend the $50. She eats $50 or more a night. I, the dinner she buys on this night is like 70 something dollars. Get the B. Spend the money. You know what I mean? I don't know. Better on that than a plate of food or a fucking piece of shit from Pennington's. Just my opinion. Alicia, thank you so much, girl. I appreciate that. Going on every other one. Oh, your cat has a couch like that? Yes, his is pink. Yeah. And do you want a receipt? No, that? that's okay. I know. Thank you. It can even be used for a little dog, you know? Yeah, oh, for sure. Actually, um, yeah. Uh, Mama Bear over there, she bought one for her cat and her dog oh. ended up on it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Listen, I I'm a sucker for those kind of like homemade things. Homemade things also, they're not like mass produced. You're never going to like produce them for the price of like mass produced crap. I, I don't know. Uh, I appreciate this kind of stuff so, so, so much. <laughs> there you go. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. I'll just check my wallet really Oh, yeah. If you, you have a card. I'm looking for a Sazacraft. You know how I, I just used up all my cards. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm checking to see. I'm so Oh, yes. Chantal is so awkward. She asks the woman if she has a card. The woman is looking for a card and says to her, oh, no, I've used up all my cards. And Chantal's response is to, ha, 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 ha. There, there was nothing funny. There was no joke. She said she doesn't have a card. Why is that? You're like, reflex. I, I don't get it. She's so weird. <laughs> there you go perfect thank you so much because i have two kitties who need some furniture so i'm being touched oh, <laughs> thank you <gasps> no oh, little ghost and boo and so cute yes and look at this one nice i like the earrings too the halloween earrings donut worry yeah. that's so cute <laughs> the cat loaf of bread <laughs> really cute yeah. i love it Oh, that's very reasonable. Yeah. Five bucks? Let me buy you one, kitty. Which no, I'll buy my own. Yeah, but I oh, those are so cute. Those earrings are really well done. Look at the little mushroom ones. I want them. Ah, those are cute. Suzanne, the Swedish yarn hooker. Thank you for the super chat. As someone who crochet and knits, uh, $50 is not expensive. You can't copy crochet with a machine, and yarn is expensive, and the time it takes to make. I totally agree with you. Thank you for the comment. I want to buy you something. Let me just see. I like the earrings too. Yeah, and the pins yeah, are cute. With a little hat. Look at the yes. sheets. Oh my god, they're all really nice. What earrings should I get, guys? Definitely something Halloweeny, so you can wear it. Yeah. Again. Get the little <laughs> mushrooms. Oh, those, those are, are cute, cute too. This is like not my type of thing. And still, I would rather look at this stuff all day with Chantal than her okay, normal take us to Pennington's yeah. or just here's what I ordered for dinner. Yeah. No, I <laughs> no I, when I heard your voice right away. Yeah. What is going on? Well, this is an all natural body product. Girl. It is. And we have the most potent olive oil. Yeah, okay. to so a this, I mean, whoa, whoa, whoa. She, yeah, she ran into someone in the wild that she knows, and the person is selling CBD products. 
How does she know this person? Who is this person? Is it a Beezer? No. No. Chantal said something like, oh, when I heard your voice, I knew it was you. How would she know the voice of a Beezer? The voice of a Beezer. <laughs> Who is that? Who? Hmm. This is funny. I met a friend here. She has a business now. Wow. So this is this is a pandemic baby business. Yes, you said seasonic wellness, a wellness tea is an all natural body product. Okay. Including your pain, anxiety, and sleeping aids. So we oh CBD, yeah. dude. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. love CBD. Yeah. You were just looking for something with CBD. <laughs> Get out of here. No, you are. You said you want some CBD with no Oh my god, no, yes. She just said this to me the other day. Yes. She's looking for just a CBD. Yes, and that's all it is. It's just CBD, and we use a purest form of CBD. Ninety-nine point nine percent. You get it straight from the farm. Wow, no way. We use extra virgin cold press olive oil. Then we have our black soap, which is um, our deep cleansing yeah. African black soap. We added some really essential oils in there. Oh, wow. So we make plantain skin, shea butter, coconut oil. Oh, my God, girl. And then put it with our lotion, our CBD lotion. You're good to go. That's oh, my God. Doing. So that's tea genic. Let me see. CBD olive oil. Whoa. Pain relief cream, eh, you said? Yes. It has 500 milligrams of CBD isolate. Then we added a lotion. Lotion. As well as pain and hand soap with a moon boosting and antiseptic. That's so cool. And that has a black soap in it. Do we use oh, that's the one with the black soap. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm definitely gonna get some stuff. Oh, thank you. Ginger you it. <laughs> Well, I mean, we've never seen her take CBD or use CBD at all. At all. Uh, I love, love CBD products. She's gonna say it was like a waste of money or something. Oh, maybe she won't because this is like her friend's business or whatever i don't know yeah, i'll be in touch with you too Absolutely. like to get more stuff yeah. like now that i freaking see you i'm like you know that's so cool no i'll drive unless you really want to well no unless you really want to take a break and you can film no nah. oh you mean stay no no are we going to court wall now yeah okay if you want then yeah you. If you don't mind, no, it's up to you. then I can show them all my stuff. Hi, Chantel Skinny Collarbone! At Cannibal Beauty, I'm going to get someone to help me. SJM is going to come help me. Oh, here's your thing, bae. Your Roots shirt. Yeah, don't get it dirty here. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm just going to get in the car. Yeah. Oh. Oh my God, I'm really low down though. You gotta pump it up. Can you? Yeah, on the side, there's a pump. You'll feel a lever. You gotta start the car first. Oh. Okay. The... You gotta put your. Yeah. There we go. I'll put the AC on me. Ooh. Okay, it's so weird to see her not driving. This is going to be strange. Uh, angry little sponge. After her abusing THC, CBD will do nothing for her. It's it's not even like related at all. You know, I, I don't have really much experience with the CBD. But here's what I can tell you as a toker with vis-a-vis uh, -vis the CBD. If you're burnt out, because I smoke the heaviest of indicas, okay, and you like you get burnt out during the day. If you take like just a couple of tokes of a CBD pre-rolled, let's say, you're you're back. You are back. You are like it's like you, you hadn't smoked at all. It's the weirdest fucking thing. Right away, you're like <laughs> it, it just pulls it right out of you. Strangest strangest thing but it really works i did it as an experiment and it fucking worked and now i just do that sometimes highly recommend highly recommend Oof. what's aggravating Not on that. <laughs> yeah that one went up i think yeah there you go there's a whole bunch on the side there's one with Oda. to go forward you got to move forward more or no? Uh, yeah. Because there's a button. There's, it's not. The oh, yeah, that's right. I did it for science. I had a theory. 
I read it by somebody who had like knowledge and even they were like, yeah, that should work. And I was like, all right, let's try. And it fucking works. Oh. I can kind of see it. You have to move it forward. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The Kia is broke. Yeah, I know you need a nice <laughs> So I'm still live and I'm going to show you guys what I got. No, I drive. Yeah. Thanks for driving. You're not nervous when I. It's funny because um, on the way, like walking towards the mall, uh, she asks her aunt if she's a good driver. And her aunt's like, yeah, yeah, you're a good driver. But then as soon as they leave the mall, the aunt's like, can I drive? <laughs> Put my thing on it. No. No one can see you or anything. Well, I don't even care anymore. <laughs> it was all later that got it. Right now, I don't care. <laughs> oh, whenever, yeah, because people would message you about, yep. <laughs> Everything I was going through, and I just need to take this off for a minute. Yeah, and some people are so judgmental, they're like, Your family doesn't even care about you, and they're letting you destroy yourself. And I'm like, How the hell do you know if your family cares about her? Yeah, my family <laughs> really. Do, what do you mean? Of course, I care. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that used to piss me off. You're judging me, and you don't even know me. Oh, <laughs> whoa, 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 hold on. We haven't even left the parking space yet. And the aunt is off. She's already on one. People messaging her about the family not doing anything. The fuck? You don't even fucking know me. Excuse me, ma'am. We may not know you, but we know Chantal. We've seen the family on holidays. Um, we have every right to kind of judge, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what to say to her. I don't want to go too far off on the end because she's sort of irrelevant like to our story. But <laughs> have you watched your niece? Because we do. Huh? Maybe you should be a little more judgmental like the rest of us are. Something tells me you don't watch her enough. I don't know. Or you listen to what she has to say instead of watching her. You should watch. KD, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. It's the name of the game. Telling me I don't care about Chantel. That's one of the most things I care about in this world. <laughs> it's me. Yes. But people have to help them. I and mean, I know that people Sorry. have to change themselves. Yes. You know, but like, I'm still here to help. I'm always in the little, she's always, always in the background saying, yes, oh, absolutely. <laughs> Friggin' right. Nobody needs a fucking background cheerleader. A background cheerleader was something you do being hopeful. Like she'll make a change. Okay. Not only was there no change, she, it, Descended into fucking crackhead Olympics with a crackhead user abuser who didn't want her for over a year. At what point do you stop cheerleading from the background and kind of step forward and go, hey, hey, this is fucked up. You're going to have to do something. Were you still just standing there going, yay, Chantal, you can do this. Yeah, you got this, Chantal. Woo! That's stupid. That is insanely stupid. Hey, you know. Because I'm organized, so I can teach you how to be organized. So, you why? Okay. <laughs> I'm organized, and I can teach you how to be organized. And then Chantal mm, smiles like she's 10. Okay? Ma'am, if you're organized and you can teach her how to be organized, why are you waiting to do this, you know, until she's like 39 years old? You didn't, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe want to share that knowledge with her decades ago? You saw the way she's going along and how unorganized she is. Why did it take you till now to offer this help? It's weird. Is it because you're on camera now? I don't know. There's something weird about this. Oh, guys, let's see what we got here. Yes, exactly. Yes, let's look at which one's the highest. <laughs> I got Color yeah. Street pedicure glitter. I'm going to try that. I'll show you that. I'll do a haul. Right now, on the no, oh, you're not driving. I'll just talk to them a little bit and then we have a new bee. Yeah. So, what bee do you, what do you want to name it? The bee is fucking cute, not gonna lie. <laughs> what do you think she's gonna name it? Fatty Dussie's loose, flappy Arby's infused moist juice. Yeah, <laughs> you know, the, the, the most disgusting word in the whole name for me, Arby's. Ah! Thank you for the super chat, girl. 
Oh yeah, get Beezer. Like, get your fans. His name is Beezer. Vote, vote for a name and then Beezer. Oh, that's a good name. Well, it's a Beezer. I think it should be a female Beezer. Female Bee? Because females are goddess. We rule the world. Bee, please get <laughs> I got therapy. I got that massage bar from Lush. It's called therapy. I'm just joking. Uh well, whatever, whatever fan is telling you that you need therapy, I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> they all do. I agree. Chantal needs therapy. They all say I need therapy. I keep telling her about DBT. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Did you hear them giggle in unison? <laughs> they both had the exact same giggle. <laughs> well, the aunt just knows everything, does she? I keep telling her about DBT. Whatever. Shut up, Aunt Phyllis. How <laughs> that? I said it. No one cares what you've been saying, okay? Point is, she's not listening. So your words are as useless as the rest of our words. What's the point? Oh, I'm her favorite family member. Well, she doesn't listen to a goddamn word you're saying either. So what's the point, Phyllis? Uh, Once I've moved in and settled in, I'm sure all that I'll be able to, I'm going to properly take better care and all that stuff. No penny. Ah, uh, shut up. Why is it so now when she moves into the mansion, maybe she'll take better care of herself and maybe she'll get some therapy. Maybe you're ordering, yeah, yeah right? It feels weird being a passenger. Well, enjoy it. I don't think they've ever been on a live stream as me as a passenger before. Smoke a joint, <laughs> yeah. Now's the time to do it, true. You don't have any joints, oh, yeah. I thought you would have, I never bring them because I, well, I'm always driving, you know, but it's true. I never get to. Smoke a joint in the car. Of course you don't get to smoke a joint in the car. What the hell is the matter with your entire family? Boom, there. Fucking Aunt Phyllis says, Oh, you should smoke a joint. You should smoke a joint. Because you're not driving. Because in the passenger seat, no, there's there's a wall that's in between the driver and passenger. I don't know if you guys know this, but whatever happens on the passenger side does not affect the driver at all. So it's not at all like your smoke is going to, you know, fuck up the driver. The two of them are out of their minds. This is the amp. This is supposed to be the influence, the good influence on Chantal. Uh -huh. <laughs> the ant suggests smoking. And Chantal doesn't say like, no, you're not allowed to do that. Like, pfft. no, no. She, oh, yeah, too bad. I don't have a joint. She would totally be smoking. Oh, hot box driving. Yay. Listen. Oh. That's so fucked up. That is, I don't even know what to say. When they legalized it here, just like it happens when they legalize it anywhere else, they make all kinds of laws to like control shit, you know? Now there's actual laws about that shit. And now, oh yeah, no, you should poke up in a car. Like when we were fucking teenagers, you know? No! What the fuck is wrong with the aunt? What is wrong with the the niece? What? <sighs> She's her cheerleader. That's worse. That, that's suggesting bad ideas that Chantal didn't even come up with. That's insane. Crystal, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Two hours. Hey, I'm on a roll. H, your aunt has the same laugh and noises as <laughs> S Jam. Who is that? S Jam is the Beezer. Okay. I hope it's a compliment. Yeah, he, he <laughs> imitates me. He's funny. Thanks, H. <laughs> S Jam is really cool. Smoke a joint. Funny always sounds similar. Families always sound similar. It's mm -hmm. true. Yeah, yeah, especially if you hang out a lot. Like it's true, yeah. yeah. They take on your voice. Hey, Missy Mo, A plus. We all queen. I'm sure, yeah, we're probably related to SJM, that's why. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> how does it feel? Not right. <laughs> Applebee's, how does it feel to be next to a Phyllis instead of a Phallus? Because I'm always with men these days. Isn't that funny? It's better. <laughs> it's way better. I'm way better than any man will ever be. <laughs> Although I can't satisfy your every need. <laughs> no. But for company wise and yes. emotional support, absolutely. And intellectual conversation. Yeah. I don't get that from very many men that I talk to. Mm -hmm. Girl. <laughs> I, this is so embarrassing.
I would love to be a fly on the wall. Although no, it would stink. But you know what I mean? I want to know what they talked about. I want to know all about the intellectual conversation. I have a like a, a prediction that they get baked together and they order food together and they watch like stupidities and giggle together in that unison like <laughs> at the same time. Intellectual conversation, my ass. Well, but, like, some of them, yeah. But I mean, if they speak English. <laughs> That's not funny. Can you imagine she says that? Conversation with the men, but only if they speak English. And her psychotic aunt cackles from the driver's seat. That's not funny, Phyllis. Phyllis is the new fucking Vivian around here. <laughs> Accountable beauty asks Phyllis if she wants the third bedroom. <laughs> she wants her own space. No, you already, Chantel has already been kind enough to invite you to live with her. I did. Yes. I invited you to live yes. with us. Like more than once. And I'm like, no, I finally have my own place after 15 years. I want to be alone. Oh, Lois up your lane. Welcome to Fairport Leisure. Ready, set, bees. Welcome, welcome. I got a new member. Ready, set, bees. I sit yeah. there and judge them. <laughs> uh, we have to go to the uh, Champlain Outlook, though. Know, yes. But there's where I want to get away. Yeah, I'll have to try. I'm not ashamed to admit them. Or maybe we can find someone who's a DD and take us to the Champlain Outlook. Yeah. Oh, mom. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> mom doesn't smoke weed, so no. she's very against it. No, she's not against it. No? Oh, she doesn't like. No, no, she's not against. No, she doesn't like the smoking but gummies. <laughs> well, she doesn't like that. She gets. Chair. She gets totally, totally stoned on five milligrams. <laughs> I know. Yes. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Chantal, no, she's totally against it. Eh? And Phyllis is all like, no, she's not. And Chantal looks at her like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Who could have thought that somebody might not be cool with their kids smoking, but would be fine getting fucked up with their sister? I mean, it's just a different relationship. That seems kind of normal to me. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. She told me she did like a, a little gummy. Yes, and she picked out on chips and dip and then was like nonstop. Yeah. <laughs> like eating like much. She's like a crazy woman. For five, five, five milligrams. milligrams. Yeah. Not too though, my sister. Yeah, she On Christmas, crazy. her boyfriend gave her one, and she's like, "I gotta go lay down." I felt bad. I don't like the no. reading out is not fun. No, you need that sweet spot right where you're almost reading out, but you're not. You know. Oh, see, I disagree. I don't think she sounds like Dee Dee at all. I was like, after I read that, I was like, what? And I listened to her a little more. She sounds so Cornwall to me, and Dee Dee is Saint Leo, and we all know it, bro. <laughs> they don't sound the same to me. Oh. Phyllis is a queen. Yes. Oh my God, your boy Jimmy. I just saw your name. Your boy Jimmy says, Alexa, you narc ass bitch. That's another reason I want to get a new card. Oh, I know. Not even brand new, just one or two. I was just, I swear they have people. I was just looking on car websites and I got 500 fucking emails already uh, for Kia. There's a problem. But the amount you of that you're paying per month for this, you have less payment for something nicer. Yeah. So it's like, why wouldn't you? I know. Just laziness. No. I, don't, I took care of the house. That's going to stop from now. <laughs> <laughs> when is Phyllis heading back to Jamaica? Oh, that's oh. up in the air. When my health is more under. Yeah, better health care here. We need the Canadian health care as we age. Yeah, that's the only reason I'm here. Health care in Chantal. <laughs> yeah, I needed her when I was going through some shit, you know? And now, and then when grandma and everything. Okay, that never made sense to me. How, like, she's lived, lived in Jamaica, according to Chantal, for a long time now. How does she still have the Ontario health card? I don't live in Ontario. Maybe your rules are different than here. Okay. But in Quebec, if you live somewhere else, I think it's after six months, you lose your health card. You no longer have access to like, you know, like uh, we have our AMQ, RAMQ, we call it here. How is the ant living in Jamaica all that time, but still is coming to Ontario to use the healthcare system? 
Oh, is it easy to reapply? Yeah, maybe that's what she did. Okay, fine. That's that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. She probably like came back, moved back, reapplied for it. Yeah, it would be, it's like automatic. You get it. Oh, that, okay, that's a good point. So, but it's very gorgeous day. So I hope you guys are enjoying vlog screen day too. I thought, what a perfect, I wasn't sure really what to do for today because I knew I was seeing you and I wasn't sure what we were doing. And uh, and then we saw the market and I thought, I need some Lush Halloween. Yeah, that was perfect. The Lush Halloween line is out in every season for Lush. As the seasons change, my Lush will change, girl. Here comes the trees. So you got to turn the camera so oh. we can see the trees. The colors. So here, they, here it starts. Kind of. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yay. And all the colors are so nice. Yeah, that's what the, it is. The, the and now she's like living here. Incredible. Okay, it's Annie with an L, not Annie with a P. Yeah, Thank you for the super chat and the tea. And I don't know if you'd want to do this, but well, it's a lot of walking, but I do have a walk. Yes. Let's do it. Okay, of September. So any any day we can go and just it's a walk around at night. All the pumpkins carved in her. Lantern pumpkins. Oh, Pete's would like that too, I think. Yeah. Yeah, well, I usually go with Pete's. I had fun with him last couple weeks ago. We went to the fashion show. Yeah, he's a supportive yeah. person. Oh, no, no, I, I love, I love, I always loved him. He's from years. He's very easy going, eh? He's eccentric and he's different, and I love him. <laughs> yeah, very <laughs> easy going, very easy going. But you also liked um, BB too. Yes, and that's the whole African vibe. I love every African vibe. <laughs> it just sounds like something Chantal would say. And it was the creepy way she went, yes. You know? Oh, you loved BB too. Yes. It was the African vibe. I love every African that I meet. I I don't know. That just sounds kind of weird. That just mm, I don't know. How do you even say African vibe? Like Africa's a continent. Like, there's just so many vibes on that continent. You know what I mean? It's kind of a weird way to put it. You know, had she been more specific, maybe, maybe even say, mm, Senegalese people, I love the Senate, like the vibe of the Senegalese people. That I wouldn't, I, I don't know, it wouldn't question mark in my head as much as saying, yes, African vibe. It's it's just fucking weird to me. And sounds like something Chantal would say. Phoebe was very um, supportive too. Yeah. You guys still talk to him. He's a really good guy. So that's, yeah. And uh, I can't believe I've seen my friend today. The CBD Please, yeah. business. That's awesome. Seems like I'll be a regular cuz She's a really cool person. Nice yeah. lady, yeah. Everyone has fun with PT. He's the life of the party. No, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> he's not the life of the party, but he's got his own charm. Yes, yes. He's um, he's extremely intelligent. Yes, like I mean, beyond genius level, and so that makes it beyond genius. Ah, uh, if anybody's stroked out for a second, they're talking about Pete's. The aunt just said that Pete's is so intelligent. He's like genius level. Um, I don't know if I'd go that far. We've known Pete's for years now. I don't agree. I just, I don't, I, I don't see genius at a piece. Yes, people are going to laugh at that. No, he's, he's, yeah, yeah he he's is. Smart. He's extremely intelligent. His vocabulary is like, yeah. Can she adopt all of us, please? His vocabulary? They call it shaky cheese. What vocabulary? He said, oh God, what's the other thing he says on it? It's like, me. He, there's something that he says like, oh, fuck, fuck. I don't remember what it is. There, But what vocabulary? I'm confused. Do they have intellectual conversations? <laughs> is there more to Pete's than, than we think? Or less? Hmm? He's anti Beezer. Oh, you guys. Should have come on here sooner. Oh my God, Rachel! Hey, thank you for the super chat. Can you imagine? Missy Moo, special Beezers. 
Whatever, accountable. Okay, picture it. <laughs> they moved to the mansion. Pete's is now hooking up with Bay. Bay? Yes. Uh, Chantal, one morning, needs something. She orders breakfast and wants Pete's to let, like, go downstairs and get it. So she goes like, Bee! No response. She goes like, tick, 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 over to his room, opens the door, Bee! and fucking Phyllis gets up from his bed. Like, <gasps> and she goes, Bee! <laughs> Pete's, do it for the content. Content. Pete's, there'll never be another woman or person on this planet for the rest of your life who's going to say that you're so intelligent, you have such a vocabulary, such an intellectual. <laughs> Maybe Phyllis is the one, Pete's. Don't tell me any negative comments. No, no, I won't. No, I'm just reading the nice. They're, they're all mostly positive. I don't have a tough skin like Chantal. I get hurt easily from sensitive. Yeah, these people, some of these people give me shit every single day. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Yeah, here's some of those. These are bad. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. I love the red. The red and yellow. Wow, look. That's what I got it right on that. Wow. That's really Happy vlog stream day two, people. This October 2nd? Yes. And you know what? Doing vlogs, like trying to find something fall and Halloween to do every single day, really it helps you. No, it's not, but it helps you enjoy mm -hmm. even little things. Like one day, okay, let's make pumpkin shaped brownies. It doesn't have to be yeah. something. <laughs> Susan. Well, I love it so much when Pete's goes off the rails that just reading your comment made me laugh. I remember Pete screaming, You fucking idiot! <laughs> at the top of his lungs and told us that he could not fix the fire alert until he, he could fix it by following instructions from his chat. You fucking idiots. <laughs> I asked him at the fashion show if he would tell me, fuck you, but he wouldn't do it, damn it. What if they carve pumpkins? Yeah. They're right now at Walmart for... Um... Two ninety seven, big, big, big pumpkin, three bucks. I need to get pumpkins. We need to right pumpkin. here, yeah. Walmart. Yeah. Oh, I saw them the other day. Spirit house. I have a clip of Pete's. You know what? We could probably play it in the middle of a video and YouTube wouldn't even be none the wiser. It's, I tried to upload it. It went red right away. <laughs> it's like 18 plus. But I think it's because it's a standalone clip. Let me see if I try and load it up now. Maybe we'll just watch it in the middle of this video and YouTube won't even fucking know. Halloween store was so fun. Hey, I might apply at Lush and get a part-time job if they'll hire me. Well, they are. They're hiring right now. There was a sign. Now hiring. Yeah. Did they hire though all day long in those things? Yeah, yeah, but even just one, even one shift a week on a weekend. Why not? It's something. So I tell you, you probably get 50% off. Yeah. So just for that alone. Seriously. And just for something to do productive that's like out of the house. Yeah. And I love, I'm passionate about Lush. I love it. Did you educated. hear me? Yeah. I knew more about the products than like, the lady working there. Yeah. I knew exactly what was in the perfume. Vanilla has been some patchouli. And I could talk about it all day. I would make a lot of sales if I worked yep. at Lush. And you probably get commission. Who knows? It's good. No, I don't think yeah. they do commission because I don't want to like promote. Okay. Shh, shh, shh. Can we take a sidebar for a minute and watch the best clip of pizza ever? <laughs> that you YouTube doesn't want you to see. <laughs> Because they keep fucking turning it red. Let's see what happens this time. Hold on. Where's the tab? <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck all of you. Fuck off. And uh, hey, just so you know, uh, just so everybody knows. Fuck off. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. And uh, hey, just so you know, uh, just so everybody knows, fuck off, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck all of you. <laughs> okay, we can get back to our reaction now. like fake selling of their products they want people to actually love their products that's why if you go to any lush store you want to try one of their products they will give you a sample of anything you want because they want you to like 
such an extensive vocabulary. <laughs> such a genius. Because that's right. how you get customers for life. Right, right. You you trick people over, you get customers for a day. Or you treat your customers good, you get customers for a lifetime. Yeah. That's how it goes. Do they still have that store in the West End, the Ottawa called Sage. Yeah, I remember oh, Sage. I would like to went there. Yeah, Sage is really, really good. I'll go there next time and eat at Pure Kitchen. Yeah. Sage, you just walk into Sage and it's so calming, the smell. Yeah. So what did that fan of yours end up posting on your YouTube channel about your fashion show, the one that showed up for the fashion show? Did she end up? Yeah. Okay, never mind. Another time. I'll tell you about that later. Sorry. death staring across the room oh yeah oh god and the way she lifted up her glasses and looked at her oh my god i'll tell you about it later <laughs> oh my god that was so funny and also um i think that's even more proof that they blamed her for the whole fashion show debacle and nobody was pissed at me about it obviously but why would she have not told her family she she like loves to whine for sympathy and that's not just to the beezers that's to anyone who will give her sympathy she didn't whine to them because she wasn't gonna lie to them so she just didn't tell them the story and she's like, i'll tell you about it later you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. liar I thought, I thought it would be an interesting, that would be an interesting story. <laughs> it is, but it's for another day. Okay, no problem. <laughs> yes, stay mad, Beach. <laughs> no problem. Anyway, so it was really nice this this day too. I like how it turned out. Yeah. Sometimes you just never know how things. You have no plans. You just yeah, yeah whatever. And I got a really nice avocado. Yeah, she got a really big avocado. I forgot about that. For like four bucks, like how can you go wrong? Those little crummy ones for three dollars, like yeah, but is it just like a huge avocado? Yes, creamy and everything. Yes. Wow, I can't believe you didn't get yourself one. Guacamole for days. No, yep. no, I don't like avocado other than guacamole so when I'm on a health kick. The guacamole is not. It's very fatty. Guacamole. I know it is fatty. Good, fats, good fat. Fatty. No, my tummy feels really good when I eat avocados. Okay. And I have an intolerance to bad fats. I hate, I hate so much when she says tummy. No, my tummy feels good when I eat avocado tummy. Ugh. You know who says tummy as an adult? The same person who says bully. Mm-hmm. Um, like when I went to the bathroom at, uh, see, at Red Lobster, mm -hmm. holy crap, twice. So that, I that was the matzo sticks. Matzo sticks and also the butter lemon sauce. Oh, on the green sauce. I had stuffed, sold stuffed tilapia with butter lemon sauce and lobster on top. <laughs> yeah, but it was very healthy. Oh, Rice good. and green beans, and it was just the sauce that, yeah, you probably yes. should not add much of the sauce. So, for those who don't know what is a beezer, explain what is a beezer. <laughs> what's a beezer? Yeah. Do you even understand what's yeah, a beezer? Yeah, I'm one of the ones that don't fully understand. So, explain. All right. Maybe you guys can explain what beezer is even better than me. Okay. I think beezing, okay, here's how the word came about. So, do you know how the word came about? No. Okay. Start from the beginning. So, Sam is the king beezer, and he, beezing is, I used to say, because he would, he's mischievous, right? He yeah. would run around and be. A bad boy, so. so I would say, Damn, why are you beezing? Why are you being a bad boy? And then it just kind of I started saying, Why are you beezing instead of being a bad boy? So beezing actually means being a bad boy. Okay, so that's the literal definition is being a bad boy. So okay. <laughs> when we bees, we all get together and we just bees bad boys. <laughs> so y'all get together and talk badly about boys? <laughs> yes, actually, yes. <laughs> Is that what it is? Yeah, and that's why Nader hates me today. No, I'm just kidding. No, no um, yeah, that was... You did bad mouth him, but with reason. <laughs> bad mouth him with reason. Yes, exactly. You were stating facts. Listen. It's negative <laughs> gossip when you're spreading rumors about someone that's not true. That is malicious and hateful. Yes. But when you're just stating facts about someone, that's not, it's not malicious, no. right? No. So, it's... So according to Aunt Bay and Chantal agreeing with her, what we do over here is not vicious or attacks or malicious. It's just stating facts.
Right, Chantal? And that day? Exactly. You nailed it. So so back to beezing. So now I know what beezing is. But when you call these fans, these beezers. beautiful people beezers, they're beezers. They're all bad people. <laughs> they're always getting into trouble. Well, but we're not we're not in a bad way. It's a mischievous kind of beezing. Oh, like Sam, like okay. cute, cute beezers. Okay. Okay. The seatbelt's new name is Ted Bundy because it's strangling you. <laughs> Oh my god. I fucking love it. It's a, oh my god, Applebee's. Pat Wah, man. Chat Pat Wah then. Yeah, it's all Pat Wah. What was that? How would you say in Pat Wah, like you're just going to, like, what's something regular we would say every day? Like, I'm going to look for my sister then. Can you go look for my sister then? Yeah, yeah, what do they say first. then? Because if you have more than one. Oh, okay. So I'm like, well, me, I only personally have one. So now go look. Now go check my sister. Sister. Now go check my sister. Okay. I lost my English when I was down there. <laughs> there it is. The try hard aunt. She lost her English while she was down there speaking patois. Although that was, I listen. I don't know anything about patois, but I've heard it a bunch. Okay, in Montreal, and you hear it way better than that. Like, how are you going to claim that you lost your English? When you didn't pick anything else up, normally you you would lose your language speaking another language. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. That's why Anglophones in Quebec sound like trash. We spend so, so much of our lives speaking French. The English goes, you know? That is just very try hard to me. She's so much like Chantal. It's like painful. Completely. Never spoke English. <laughs> And did you know that Patwa is a combination of African, French, and Spanish dialect? African, Spanish, and French. Spanish, Spanish and French dialect is a not mix. a real official language, but it's a mix. You know? Oh, okay. <laughs> hey guys, Jamaica man. We're definitely gonna go, right, guys? Would you guys not love oh. love a Jamaica piece? Come what? on now. The early morning vibes with the birds and then the afternoon. <laughs> Chet Hanks well. does it better. That's so fucking funny. hilarious. Stupid. And true. Ridiculous. Excuse me. When it comes to men or cheese, there's no such thing. No, there is too many available. You cannot just even walk out of your house and walk down the street. One minute you get hit on. By the taxi man, the grocery guy, the everything. What? Men from 12 years old to 100 years old. <sighs> Listen up, Aunt Phyllis. Uh, we don't call 12 year old boys men. That sounds psychotic and that sounds like your niece, Chantal. Okay? She's so much like Chantal. Don't you find? Don't you find? Oh, just that, that little thing that the, the aunt said right there. It's so much like Chantal. Oh, you do you you open your door and the men are like fawning over you. Men from 12 to blah blah blah. <laughs> Phyllis is a sharp muta too. <laughs> I do not co-sign Aunt Phil. <laughs> Aunt Phil. Oh my God. What is with the grin? Because she, she loves it. Because it's something she could have come out with. There, oh no. A hundred years old? Yeah. One guy was 96, you know. He was good looking though for 96. 96? Yeah. Older rest of man. He looked 50. Yeah, it was 96. I want to have sex with a 96 year old just to say that I have sex with There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't love Oh it. my no. god. Very. Oh my god. Oh. Chantal, I want to have sex with a 96 year old. The aunt doesn't say like, what are you insane? Hey, don't laugh. Like, what? This is creepy. Listen, I'm like Chantal's age. I can't imagine sitting in a car with one of my aunts and talking about anything like this. Uh, anything. <laughs> like, what would you talk about? I don't even know. I don't talk to my aunts. I always say my mom has sisters. I don't have aunts, right? I don't know. They're both charmutas and they like to drink. I could talk about booze or <laughs> whoring. I don't... <laughs> the point is, 
My aunts would be the ones trying to hit on the 96 year old to get in the will. Okay. They would never be sitting there joking around with me to do a 96 year old. Ugh. Very healthy vegetarian all his life. Wow. I was impressed. Nice. <laughs> you need to go there, Chantel. There might be a single one down under. Sounds yeah, like actually, Chantel's according to Koki, oh, right? This is the threesome ant. Well, we'll see. There will be nice for sure. Chantal booking flights now. And she's Yes, yeah. my aunt is worldly. She's been, where did you go, Ghana? I live, yeah, Ghana. Ghana. I, Ghana. I lived there for half a year. Yeah, sold, hey. every, sold everything I owned and bought a one-way ticket to Africa. Bye. <laughs> That's true. I remember your mom was crying when she dropped me off. She said she'd never seen I was happy for you. Yeah, you were the only one out for me. Thanks, Maggie. Listen, buttered crumpet. I kind of believe Koki in that story, too. There's a lot of these stories that I don't just blindly believe Chantal. Um, Chantal was like willing to do anything to please Koki, to get Koki back, whatever. If she did it with Dee Dee, why not offer up, uh, that sounds creepy, offer up your aunt, right? Doesn't mean you've talked to your aunt about it. Doesn't mean it's ever going to happen. But I think she is psycho enough to like mention that to Koki to try and like, I don't even get him going. Ugh, vom. Maggie said, don't worry about a thing. Every little thing, but I'll be all right. <laughs> Kumbaya! Does Phyllis give out laptops? No. Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> Phyllis, fuck no. Yeah, I was on a whole bottle of that. That Cuba rum is something else. Was after Whoa, right there. She said, the ant enabler says, that was a mistake. And Chantal says, oh, yeah, that rum, that rum. <sighs> Think back to Cuba. I might be wrong here. Wasn't the laptop given away the night before the rum incident? The rum incident was the last night. I do believe that the laptop was given away the second to last night. Am I remembering this wrong? Does anyone else remember this? Because I don't think this was on the same night. And Chantal's trying to blame the rum for giving away the laptop, but I, I do not remember her being drunk on the second to last night. It was the last night with the rum. <laughs> She's such a fucking liar. But I think they were saying about like including the price of the rent will include like pretty much all the stuff will just be mine after the furniture that's there. Oh, they're not gonna, yeah. So, but they have this sofa, it's an Italian leather sofa set, love seat and couch in the main the seating area. And but I think they were saying about like include the price of the rent will include like. Pretty much all the stuff will just be mine after the furniture that's there. Oh, they're not gonna, yeah. What the fuck? Who rents a furnished place and then at the end you leave with all the furniture? That is really weird. I've never heard of anything, anything like this. Because she said they were coming back. Like, if they're just leaving the place like that, why would they leave their cats? You're clearly coming back, but then why are you giving away all the fucking, that is really weird to me. I don't know. Rumgate Pondu, thank you for the super chat. It was before the rum. I, Rumgate Pondu, remember. <laughs> well, thank you, Rumgate Pondu. So, but they have this sofa. It's an Italian leather sofa set, love seat and couch in the main the seating area. And she... The wife brings back a special skin conditioner from Mexico to condition the couch. Mm -hmm. But it's like for skin. That's how yeah. so that's how the couch is probably leather. Yeah. Yeah. So I never thought of that's true because the leather is skin. So it's it wouldn't make sense they could put they should put skin moisturizer on the couch. Yeah. It's so weird. <laughs> I suggest you put a cover on it. Yeah. I don't probably think because I know. The cats, I'm thinking. Yeah. Well they ha she has well, actually you could spill something. Well, she has this peppermint. Uh, she has some kind of solution she used for her cats when she first got them to keep them from the, none of her furniture scratched nothing because oh, she, wow, okay. she puts this. She sprays the furniture with it. She's gonna do it for my cats. 
It deters attacks. Yes. Okay. But it's safe for them too. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there's, um, coming up on the left, there's somebody with a big display of pumpkins. Do you want to That's really fucking weird. You like the couch enough to be bringing moisturizer back from Mexico for the couch, but now you're just giving away the couch and everything else in your house? Fucking weird. Stop oh. taking pictures and video or no, but it's somebody else selling pumpkins. Like they might come out and say, can I help you? Oh, yeah. But we could just pull over and I can get out just because it's like a big display. If you can make a nice picture, show them at least. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but they always charge a lot more. Like it's like ten bucks a pumpkin when you can get it at Walmart for three dollars. <laughs> no, I'll just put the camera maybe. You know what's weird? Usually, all those like <laughs> the persona that the ant seems to be trying to go for, uh, they're like anti Walmart. You know, ooh, they don't like those big uh, operations. She's talking about pulling over to the side of the road at a, like a pumpkin stand and not buying a pumpkin there because you can get it at Walmart for $3, eh? That's very like un like hippie of you. I don't know. It seems like the persona she's going for, the poser, would purposely not shop at Walmart and go out of her way to buy them at a roadside little pumpkin stand. You know what I mean? Oceana Song, thank you so much for the super chat. These two are Canada's version of AbFab. No! <laughs> oh my God. Community post? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, hold on. Let me hit refresh. Let's see what we got. Oh. What? <laughs> FFG. Get an attorney. Copyright claiming you for using my content. Also, harassment coming soon. Girl, shut the fuck up with your fucking harassment and bullshit, okay? This is an edit, huh? We took two hours of you and your boring ants, boring fucking video, and we turned into just under one hour of still pretty fucking boring content. We've been taking plenty of pauses. We have literally talked more than you do. It's a problem that I have. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, lunatic. <laughs> do whatever you need to do. Yeah, show them. and just show them because it's like it's really nice. Yeah. So if they're if they're out, it's Sunday. They might not. They were there yeah, yesterday. Were my boy. These are all cornfields. Dibs on the Halloween tree. Oh my god. I'm also confused. Wasn't she live? Did they lie to her and tell her we were sniping and she's just a lunatic? So she's like, no. <laughs> and she gets off. Girl, we weren't even. We were letting you marinate. We're still here, watching the edit. What are you talking about? Peony Gummy, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Halloween tree, I'm bringing that to my new house. You guys are not getting my Halloween tree. <laughs> do you auction off things for prizes sometimes, Santa? Um, should you? I do need to do something like yep. that. Yep, yep. And you just mail it. Or yeah. Wins. I feel bad charging people for stuff, so I like to just give Electric it Moth stuff. Atelier, yeah. thank you so much for the super chat, girl. I'll start the legal defense fund, LOL. Thank you so much. That's fucking hilarious. Cornfields forever. You need to sing more, by the way. Yeah, sing, sing more on your videos. You got such a beautiful voice, Santo. When you left me a happy birthday message, and you just just did the tour, happy birthday to you, and I'm like, oh, sing the whole song, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We're never changing these, or stinky Anna. So it's the aunt who encourages her to sing. We've asked this question before on this channel. Who's the one? Who's been the one in her life who like? Blow smoke up her ass that she's a good singer and stuff. We just found it. It's her aunt. Oh, I wish you would have sang me the whole version of Happy Birthday. You should sing more. Oh, uh oh. She's deleting comments, FFG. So now, so you know she's on a rager. <laughs> oh, Chantal. I sent out one gift five years ago. When did I send out five gifts? No, the kind of giveaways I did most recently, I gave like money to five people on PayPal and did notes. I can't remember. But I have Yeah, because you don't do giveaways. That's why you can't remember. And didn't you say that one of the people you sent money to had asked you for five dollars? So you sent them five dollars and you're counting that as one of the five people that I did a giveaway to. 
Are you nuts? You're nuts. NyQuil, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Appreciate it. I have the postcards and everything ready to go. I like your earrings, your Halloween earrings. Yeah. Little, little gifts, just little token. Whoever comes up. Wait, wait. Another community post. Okay, hold on. Let me hit refresh. Wait, pause, pause. Let's get our face off of here. Wait. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> and any loser who supports that here is a wait, sorry, that was me fucking up. And any loser who supports that here is a reminder. This bully has done nothing but steal content to bully. So here is what you are supporting by supporting it. Lies, defamation, harassment, bullying, and copyright infringement. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's so funny. I clicked on the other one, the FFG, get an attorney, blah, 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 to see what the comments are. The second one is, it's an edited video, but okay. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Oh my God. And hell yeah, she's deleting comments. That's okay. Stay mad, Chantal. We're going to keep on watching our edit. With best name for Miss with for Miss Me. Well, I might start a shop if I shop for some merch. There you go. Because honestly, like I could probably sell. I could collab with all these people I know that make, you know, Bay Nation exactly. knits things. Uh, those nice Alyssa Halloween makes CBD lip glosses. I can her. Yes, and those nice yes. Halloween earrings you just got for ten dollars. Oh, guess who just messaged me? I don't want to guess. No, not him. Never him. It's always other men. Oh, Mr. Coffee. No, it's come out of babies. Isn't that kind of interesting, too, that we've had the theory that her and Koki may have been talking or whatever, allegedly conspiracy, whatever. And Chantal just says, ooh, guess who just messaged me? And the first person that her aunt suggested is Koki. If she talks to her aunt that much and she's that close to her aunt, wouldn't the aunt know about the guys she's apparently talking to? How come the first guy that her aunt thought of was Koki? That's pretty interesting. Mr. Coffee Dope. Mr. Married Man. He needs to be blocked as soon as I'm off this live stream. Yep. Yeah. Bye. Liar. No, he never lied. He told you right up front. I have a wife. <laughs> yeah, but he lied about him. Oh. He lied. Oh, that's pretty funny. Her aunt just calls her out. Chantal's a liar. He's like, well, he didn't lie. He was <laughs> right from the beginning. He told you I had a wife. Oops. Mm -hmm. I will not shut up about BBJ. Thank you for the super chat. Ken said, like, basically you made it seem like they're not together and everything, but then uh, he's being yeah. deceiving. He's technically being truthful, but in the future, he's leaving out the part that, you know, maybe if she does come here, they'll get back together. But then he's, he, one minute he says she's not coming back. He's always changing his story. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's Is he always changing his story? Because the story that you told us, when you told us, what he had told you, you said that his wife was coming in a few years. Interesting. And okay, yesterday we didn't stream, but the day before yesterday is where we in this group pointed out that isn't that funny? Like they're clearly not split up if he's waiting to sponsor his wife and she's waiting to come, you know? And here you are today bringing it up two days later. Isn't that kind of ironic? Hmm? But that's not what he told you, changing the story and or that's not what you told us anyway. God only knows what he's told you. But what you told us is that the aunt, uh, the aunt, <laughs> the wife is coming in a few years, according to you. Um, Shiny Spurs, thank you so much for the super chat. It's a red flag. Yeah. Well, anyways, it's trouble and it's going to stop. So we need to go look for some Jamaican farm workers. <laughs> Tomorrow. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Jamaican farm workers. Yeah. yeah, they're working out in the farm. They need massages. Yes, they're hardworking men. BB used to pick cucumbers on a farm. Uh, the aunt is exactly like Chantal. Same, same. Did you hear what the... <laughs> Do we need to go back and hear that one again? Did you, you guys heard it? We don't need to go back. Okay. Ah, uh, why would she say that? 
they're, they're so much alike, so much alike. And even if that's like how you are, why would you say that when the live stream's on? They, they keep nothing like personal. I don't get it at all, at all, at all. Why would you say that on stream? Go back. Y'all didn't hear? Okay. Hold on. Well, anyways, it's trouble and it's going to stop. So we need to go look for some Jamaican farm workers. <laughs> we need to go and look for some Jamaican farm workers. What? That's what we got to do tomorrow. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Jamaican farm workers. Yeah. yeah, they're working out in the farm. They need massages. Yes, they're hardworking men. Baby used to pick cucumbers on a farm in Montreal. See? He said it was hard work. Freaking right it is. Bending down like that. He hated it. Apple picking. That's slavery. It That's is. fucking wrong. And they work from 5 a.m. till 8 p.m. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> my head hurts. Yeah. It's like you don't even know what to say. You don't know which piece to. <laughs> So Chantal's not the only one in the family who just. Uh, is exploits people of color at this point a fair thing to say? Because that sounds like what it is. Uh, another community post? My God, she's on a fucking roll. <sighs> no, no. That's the one we saw. That's the one we saw. Okay. Yeah. That is just, it's wrong and on top of wrong. Oh, God. And then to be talking about Jamaican farm workers, like, and then to say it's like slavery. It's, it's just like compounded on the wrong. I feel, oh, I don't know what to say. This is learned behavior. I mean, eerie T, right? At like... I don't know what to say. This is her favorite family member. This is the most like influential family member on her. I hear a lot of Chantal coming out of her aunt. Totally. Graveyard Flowers, thank you for the super chat, girl. Where are they going? Uh, I think Chantal's taking Phyllis back to uh, Cornwall. Yeah, FFG, learn behavior. It's oh, wild to me. P day today. Thank you for the super chat girl. Chantal, someone who truly has the art of entertaining people shows in their views. You are the shit show. FFG makes it entertaining. Lawyer fun. Thank you so much. P day today. I appreciate that. They're very ignorant. Yeah. Very ignorant. No filter at all. No thought before, you know, like they always say, think before you speak. All right, think before you speak. I want to say, even if this is who they are, right? And the live stream's not going like, okay, you take your filter off if that's who you are and that's who your niece is and you have that and go, okay, you're on live stream now. Do you not think before you speak? Why? There's no connection at all between the mouth and the brain. It's just thought out the mouth, thought out the mouth. No analyze, no... I don't know. The two of them, very, very similar in that same way. Finney, thank you so much for the super chat. Her grandfather's racist, maybe the aunt's dad. Hmm. I don't know which of the, which one is the racist grandpa? That's a good question. I never really thought about it that like deep before. Interesting. Seven days a week. Never a day off for two months straight. Well, the, the, the couple... Why, that, they go back to Jamaica with enough money to live for the year. Yeah. Well, the, they do that with Mexicans, too. The Mexican yep. couple that said that... Uh, with, with Mandy, the thank you that for the super chat. Work work for, they treat them well. They even gave them their own land to grow tomatillos. Nice. And the tomatillos did so well that now they're partnered. Oh. Those Mexicans that worked for the farm are partnered mm -hmm. with the farm. Cool. Yeah, that's a nice story. The Mexicans are hard workers, too. Yeah. I hate that. Oh, they're going to come here and take our jobs. Yeah, well, fuck, don't want to do it. exactly. Bunch of lazy ass Canadians. 
Sitting on your We're five dollars Canadians. Huh? Yeah, but I'm I'm one of those lazy fucking Canadians. Yep. You wouldn't go pick apples for fifteen dollars. Are you hour, fucking you kidding? kidding? <laughs> well, if I had to, yeah, I would work at lunch for fifteen bucks an hour. No, I'd rather pick apples. <laughs> you don't have to deal with people. Exactly. Right. I like working with people. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh cool. Look at only five dollars each. Oh. Oh, they have yellow ones. You, know what you want to go and buy a couple? Cash and each turf. Oh, I can eat transfer them. Or just show them. Ah, see, that's better than buying them at the Walmart. <laughs> Although now I don't give two shits about her or her fucking pumpkin. But to be honest, another community tab? Or are you guys behind? Hold on. Oh, boy. <laughs> If you guys want to help and email me timestamps from her live where she's bullying so I don't have to watch her shit would really help my mental health. And then I can report it all to YouTube at once. So wait, this is going to be a big project, but it's about time. Thanks, guys. XO. <laughs> she's so fucking lazy. She's too lazy to fucking do the work to strike someone herself. Uh, and what you've just done there, ma'am, that's breaking TOS. So go on. <laughs> you are so good at this. YouTube professional. I will not shut up about BBJ. Thank you so much for the super chat, girl. You ever heard of something so fucking lazy in your entire life? With them? I don't know. I don't know. It's up to you. I don't want to go. Like, I'll drive in there if you want to. It's up to you. I don't want to buy any, but yeah, I'll wait. Can they see? Are you able to yeah, zoom? Yeah, I did. Are you yeah. able to zoom up? And... That's really not my bad. Yeah. Well, I guess it'd be better to support them than. Walmart. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy a pumpkin just yet, but I want to check out. I gotta get a carving kit and everything. I gotta pick what day I'm gonna do the pumpkins. We can go buy one at a patch. Like I kind of want to pick one out at a patch. Well, that's a patch. Oh no, that's not a patch. They must have a good patch in behind somewhere. Yeah. But yeah, Wait, you could go them, to eh? an actual place in Ottawa into the patches and pick it out like That'd I did last a good year. Video. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the stream for now. I think we've been on for almost two hours, so about two hours. So I really appreciate that. I will, um, I hope you enjoyed the. Oops, sorry, I've been quiet for a minute. I was just taking some screenshots, you know, for the inevitable counter strike. A pew pew. So, watch Halloween Hall, vlog screen day two. Maybe later tonight. I have some might have something special for you guys. It might be a regular bees. I'm not too sure yet, but we'll figure it out. And yeah, thanks for hanging out with me and and me and Auntie Bay. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. Thanks for all who joined and sent super chats today. Thank you. Bye beezers. Wow. <laughs> Bye, Chantal. Bye, Measers. Bye, Meech. <laughs> Let me hit refresh on the community tab again because, no, three minutes ago. So she's been able to control herself for three minutes. <laughs> Fantastic. VK, awesome. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. I might have to crochet you a mini version of the Gucci chair. Oh, I would love that. Thank you so much, girl. She is a lunatic. She keeps deleting every comment. Mm. Surprise, surprise. Oh, Jessica Rizzo. FFG, I peeked in on her last stream. She called you French fried fuckface. Wow. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? Because she only calls me French fried fuckface when she's been talking to you know who. Norma, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. <laughs> thank you very much, girl. And thank you to everybody who's watching. I appreciate it. Chantal fucking hates it. So I appreciate it even more because I'm a petty ass bitch. You know how it is. Big Baba a uh, booba lady. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. <laughs> you guys are dicks. I don't like that. Ah, I linked to her cube rage. Ah, ew, you don't say. Fantastic. Shiny as Spurs. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. You guys are dicks. 
<laughs> but so am I. I mean, we're all dicks. But it's just business, right, Chantal? <laughs> I will not shut up about BBJ. Thank you again for Super Chat. I'm going to send her the videos of BBJ crying. All right, you do that. <laughs> okay. Um, Hold on. Wait, wait. She also, oh, she also deleted said video, but just saying is back up and running. Why, the video's up. What do you mean? The one she just did. The live scream day three, it's up. It's on her channel. Um, I think <laughs> we're going to do a two for one tonight. All right. Um, when is the court? From everything I was remembering, I thought the court was on the 12th. Today was like an unrelated thing, apparently, but I think court was on the 12th or it's coming up on the 12th, you know, picks. Thank you so much for the super chat, girl. I appreciate it. All right. Yeah. You guys, uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I'm a little behind on the chat. My bad y'all. I am Warlock. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Um, The other victim, bring it on. All right. All right. Today was a separate case. Okay. Crack Noir. That makes more sense. Okay. That's what I was looking for in the chat. Because I had thought that like the date we were waiting for exactly was the 12th. That's what you guys had had in mind too, right? All right. All right. Well, I mean, it's, it's the third. It's coming. A few days. We'll see. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. that's right Wiccan mom that's right but that's okay it's all business she'll calm down and she'll realize <clears throat> or she won't and either way it's fun for us I don't give a fuck either way here's the plan <clears throat> for tonight all right it's still early it's 5 42 p.m my time uh she's now put up another one another one what do you say we go twitching and tweaking at let's see what's it almost six so like 7 30 p.m my time so in just just under two hours from now all right i got something to go and do quick quick and then we're gonna come back we're gonna twitch and tweak we will start at 7 30 p.m just under two hours from now and we will watch day three of her whatever the fuck okay whatever the fuck got her so pissed off that she called me french fried fuck face and quickly ended the stream to get on her community tab like a lunatic. We'll see. All right. 7.30 p.m. I will meet you guys over on the Twitch for a little Twitch and tweak. Maybe we'll do a little this and that. I got some questions. All right. <laughs> we'll get into that on Twitch. Y'all, thank you so much for being here. We're not quite caught up on Shantopolis, but by the end of the Twitch and tweak, we will definitely be caught up on the Shantopolis. All right. Malarkey Meter, thank you so much for the super chat. MFW tried the same thing. Send me the clips. And that worked out so well for her, right? The one who constantly breaks TOS is on thin ice already with her channel and pretty much everything else in her life. Has the big balls and the big mouth. So I, I don't know. I She turned her comments off. <laughs> well, that's a bloop, isn't it? Bloop. Love that for us. Love that for me. <laughs> All right, guys, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time, just under two hours from now. I will see you over on the Twitch for a Twitch and a tweak. All right? Bye, guys.